Hi, thanks for stopping by to see my tutorial on bookmarks and favorites. Uh, today we're going to talk about the favorites bar, or the bookmarks bar, or whatever it is. It's a really handy place. You can just put all your stuff on there, and uh, you know, whenever you want to change a page or go somewhere different, all you got to do is just click on what's up there. Uh, most bookmarks uh, that most people put in the bookmark. Uh, section there uh, end up looking something like uh, well let me give you an example here all right let me go to Google Mail for a minute and let me rebookmark bookmark this page okay uh, hmm says remove bookmark well I'll remove the bookmark that's already there then and I'll bookmark it again uh, bookmark this page Okay, done. And let me find it. Okay. I must have put it in the wrong place. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to put it on the bookmarks toolbar. And you see what I'm left with right here? Uh, it's got this long thing telling me, you know, what, I, what it is. Uh, maybe I don't want that. So. I'm going to just go to properties and I'm going to get rid of it just completely. Just do away with it like that. And then I save and then I've got this nice little icon here instead of the spread out thing. The nice thing about the little icons is they can all flow together real nicely and you can fit a lot of them whereas you could before only put like three or four or five things up here. Uh, what, what you can do to organize them even more is put folders on here. See I've put folders and I've got some very short names on the folders like SN which is social networking I can figure that out from SN. Uh, this dollar sign right here this is uh, sponsored money making things. You go over here to the folders and I've actually got a folder that is full of folders. So I've got in here video which is YouTube. Uh, I've got uh, search engine optimization, uh, ill, which is like, I looked at the site, it was kind of ill, uh, point of sale, uh, development, and my own websites. Now, as you can see, I've got a bunch of favicons up here for my own website. So what I'm going to do, I've got way too many of them, so I'm going to drag these off into their own folder. And uh, if I go and just drop it on top of folders, it'll go by itself down below like so and so now I have three of these right here and yet to organize them even better I'm just going to drop them on web which I know is my websites so then I've got a little bit more space up here so I, I can add more if I want to uh, the nice thing about the folders folder is I can take this social networking folder, drop it on top of folders, like so, and I can take this money folder and drop it on there like so. So all of my folders end up right there. So now all I've got are these. And the nice thing about uh, about the small things is uh, the icons, the favicons, is if you mouse over them and just hold your mouse there it'll go ahead and uh, tell you what the site is so if you happen to forget oh gee whose blog spot is that oh, I can see oh this is a blogger Florida girl in DC it's a food blog and uh, if uh, blog spot or blogger or whatever yeah blog spot everyone with a blog spot blog has the blog spot favicon uh, since it's hosted on blog spot so uh, if I get 20 of these, then I might have a problem, and I might have to use names. And if that's the case, I'll make another blog folder. Uh, if you're like me, uh, your bookmarks started out something like this. And it's just a hodgepodge mess of just loose stuff and folders. Anyway, this is a good way to organize your bookmarks and have them real close by, where you can find everything you need just at the click of a mouse without doing a lot of digging. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my video, and I hope it did something to uh, make your life a little easier. If so, please do me a favor and click that like button. Uh, thank you very much.